Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and I'm a self-employed mama of four. My husband and I recently became debt-free and are now working towards saving up six months worth of expenses for a fully funded emergency fund. We use a zero-based budget and the cash stuffing methods to stay on track because our biggest goal is to invest wisely and give generously. So if you're interested in learning more, stay tuned. Well, hey, you guys, I am so excited to be hanging out with you again this week. In this video, I'm going to be doing a cash stuffing for, I think it's the third week of May. and No, second week of May. It's for the second week of May. And we are going to be cash stuffing a total of $1,265 into sinking funds and savings challenges. And you'll notice it's a little bit less than I normally stuff. And it's because I think I'm going to be cash stuffing five times in May. And so I cash stuffed our regular amount last week. And so what I did was I just looked at the budget that I had made before the month started and took the total amount that I set aside or budgeted for cash stuffing, subtracted what we cash stuffed last week, and then divided the rest by four because I think we will be cash stuffing four weeks, four more weeks this month. So it's going to be a little bit less, but it's just to kind of like stretch it out because I do like to cash stuff weekly. So that being said, let's go ahead and jump into the wallet. So today is actually Saturday and I know I said last week I was going to try to cash stuff earlier in the week and that just did not happen this week. I've never actually cash stuffed on a Saturday that I can remember. So I'm going to take my receipts out and scan those into my Fetch Rewards app, which is basically an app where you scan in receipts. Those receipts turn into points and then you can redeem the points for gift cards. And I do have a referral code which I'll put up on the screen and in the description, but if you use that code, you get bonus points when you scan your first receipt. And then I also get bonus points. So it's a win-win. I have so much change this week. All right. I need to figure something else out for my camera because like I said, my money or like my coin container is holding up my camera stand so it doesn't tip over. So I always get questions about my camera stand and then I'm like, mm, I'm not 100% sure I'd recommend it. So <laughs> it's pretty good for the most part, but. Okay, let's go ahead and unstuff the wallet. So leftover in groceries, we have $2. And I do feel like I did a lot of spending this week, which is fine. I love having the money in my wallet. So leftover in my personal spending, I have $8. Eating out is completely empty. Drinks, we have $2. Kids, three left over. Let the kids get an ice cream cone at Dairy Queen yesterday because they came to the shop with me for a while while I finished some stuff up. Um, kindness and miscellaneous. Kindness is empty. I spent that five, but I'm going to leave miscellaneous in here and we're going to roll that over. So groceries. I don't think we're stuffing groceries. Um... Actually, well, we're not stuffing it in our binder, but we are stuffing it in my wallet. So I'm just going to grab it out of here. This is our high, fi high priority sinking funds. I'm just going to do a 10. So then we still have 90 in here in case Chris needs to grab some grocery cash. And this is not our entire grocery budget. It is literally just for small things we might need to to run out and get throughout the week. I do all my grocery shopping online and then I go pick it up because it saves me time and it helps me stay within my budget. So my personal spending is gonna get 25 as it always does. And my husband and I both do 25 and that's for us to just spend on whatever we want. Eating out, I'm going to, let's see, I'm gonna do 20 I think. I didn't budget much for eating out this week. Um, drinks, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to put a 20 in here just in case. I just got some, so I think we'll be good, but who knows. Um, kids, I'm going to pull some out of the kids binder out of our miscellaneous envelope because I like to carry a 10, and this is just like their yes envelope. So when they ask me for something like at a store or whatever it might be, And I say, yes, this is the money that I'll use. It's usually for like a treat or something like that. Um, nails, 
for right now i'm gonna leave this one empty but i am taking the girls on a little like date today and then for kindness we're gonna pull out of the miscellaneous oh my gosh this is the wrong binder i think it's in this one we have a miscellaneous envelope and i like to use that money for my kindness and miscellaneous envelope in my wallet it's just for things that we maybe forget to budget for but i like to have my kindness envelope stocked up with a five in it all right so i think that that is going to be it i might add to my nails envelope because me rowan and bristol are going to go get our toes done which sounds crazy because bristol's two and rowan's five they don't really get like a full-on pedicure but they do get like they, they clip their toes and like paint them. So it's just like more for like some quality time. Um, groceries is not getting stuff this week. Beef and pork is getting a 50. So we have 150. So I will be pulling money out of their envelopes, like their individual envelopes for that. And then we're gonna do a little bit of shopping. It's just gonna be a fun girls day because it's Saturday, it's raining today. Clothing is not getting stuffed. So I just thought it'd be fun to like get out and do something like that with them. Beauty is getting 20 and I have really nice bills this week. One, 152, 20, 40, 60, 70. So 270. I have really nice bills this week because last week when I did my condensing, I went through and um, like I kept that cash until I knew what I needed to cash stuff. And then I just like took all the nice bills out of there and then deposited the rest. <laughs> so plus, let's see, pet care. Then the bank can take all of the wrinkly bills back and I can keep the nice ones. 100, 152, 20, 40, 50. So 250 in pet care. Chickens is getting a 20. And so we are going shopping, like I said. So I'm gonna pull out some of my envelopes here to put into my wallet to bring with. So 20, 40, 60, 65. Oh, oh yeah. We're gonna just set this aside because I don't love having $1 bills. Actually, we are going to get chicken food today. So I'm just gonna keep this for now in case I need it. But chickens is gonna be one of the envelopes that I'm gonna take out and set aside. While I have this open. going to put copays in there but we'll set this here so don't forget to put that in my wallet all right vehicle maintenance is getting skipped but i am going to start stuffing this again probably next week just because i need to get my oil changed medical is getting 100 so now we have 700 health is getting a 20 so now we have 90 in health Copays is getting skipped. Tax prep is getting a 20. So 100, 150, 170. And then memberships is not getting stuffed this week. So that's it for high priority. Next up is low priority. So eating out, I, let me set this over here. I already stuffed this in my wallet because I knew that we had some cash in here. Um, drinks, we're gonna do a 20. So that is 60 total. I already stuffed my personal spending cash, but we will stuff Chris's $25. So he has 50 now. Date night. I think date night's getting skipped and family fun is getting skipped self-care is getting 20. gifts is getting a 10. so 100 150 170 190 200 so Chris took the kids to Home Depot because we need to get a new doorknob for our pantry. Hockey rink is getting 10. 
because we need to be able to lock the pantry. So 100, 200, 250, 260, 265. So sometimes our kids get up like between six and seven. And on the weekends, Chris and I don't get up that early. So we just kind of like, oh, travel is not getting stuffed. Just canning and farmer's market is what's left in this envelope. So canning is getting a 20. And it's usually fine. Like the kids might come upstairs and like cuddle with us and we'll turn on like the TV, 50, 70, 90, 110. And so Bristol did do that this morning for a little while. And it's like, we're not really asleep. But we're just like not ready to get up. Plus we slept with the window open and it was raining this morning. So it just was so like cozy. Farmer's market is getting 20. And so now it has 50. By the time I got downstairs this morning, uh, Bristol had taken out a sensory bin and then miscellaneous and horses, I believe. Yes, they're both getting skipped this week. Anyway, by the time I got upstairs or downstairs this morning, she had gotten into a sensory bin. So there was like rice and like random things like spread out all over the floor. And then in our pantry, she had pushed a chair in there and climbed up on the shelf and like taken the flour and a couple other things. And it was just like all over. Like she just like had a party in there. So it was just the whole pantry. It's like a walk-in pantry. It was just covered in flour and oatmeal and she was just a mess. So it, that was not fun to clean up right away this morning. Kids clothing is getting 10. So now we have 100, 150, 200, $210 in kids clothing. So I'm like, Chris is like, we need to just put a lock on the pantry so that she can't go in there when we haven't even gotten up for the day yet. Expenses is getting 10 school expenses. So now we have 50, 70, 80, 90, 100. Back to school is getting a 20. So now we have 500, 600, 650, 670, 690, 700. And back to school. Birthday parties is getting a 10. So we have 130 now. Chris's birthday is coming up in May. So I think maybe today me and the girls can get some birthday party decorations for him while we're out. Hockey is getting 10. So now hockey has 100, 150, 160, 170, 175. Gymnastics is also getting 10. I'm not completely confident that Bristol or Rowan wants to do gymnastics again in the fall, but I'm going to save up the registration fee just in case. And if she decides that she does not want to do it in the fall, then we'll just move this money into our hockey envelope because she is very excited about hockey starting up again. And then each of the kids is getting their five. So 50, 60, 65, 70 for Liam. Eli is getting a five, so he now has 45. Rowan is getting a five, so she now has 60. And then Bristol is also getting five, so she now has 55. Her and I went out last weekend because Rowan was at grandma's and then dad had the boys. And so it was just me and Bristol. So me and Bristol went out and did a few things and I brought her envelope, which was super nice. So I'm just glad I've like started these envelopes because it's just been nice for them to each have their own money. So like when I do take them out to do things, I'm not like, okay, which envelope should I pull it out of? It's like they each have their own. So like when we go to get our toes painted, I'll just use some money out of Rowan's and some money out of Bristol's to pay for that. And then I'm gonna figure out where to take my money out of. I'm thinking maybe family fun, but I'm not 100% sure. Cause I like don't have to, I don't really need my toes painted right now, but I just, I wanna do something fun. and. Going to the nail salon is like Rowan's favorite thing ever. So, all right, $40 is going into household. So now we have 50, 70, 90, 110, 115 in household. Seasonal lawn care is getting a 20. So we have 500, 6, 7, $720 in seasonal lawn care. Organizing is getting a 10. 
So we have 50. Home is getting 20. So we have $70 in home. I just bought some new pillowcase covers and they are so cute. They're like a linen color and they just look so good on our couch. Freeze dryer. Oh, I think I, no, I didn't skip freeze dryer. We're doing a hundred. So now we have 1300 in freeze dryer. Renovations is getting skipped. Pool is getting 100. So now we have $700 saved up for getting our pool ready to go. No idea how much it's going to cost. Just our luck, it'll cost a lot more than that, which is fine. <laughs> but garden is getting 20. So now we have one, 200, 20, 40. So 240 in garden. And then seasonal decor is getting skipped this week. So that is it for our home binder. And then our last sinking funds binder is our holiday sinking funds. And so flip my page here. So Valentine's Day is getting a five. So we now have 50, 70, 75, 80. Easter is also getting five. So now we have 75 in Easter. Mother's Day is getting a 10. So we have 100, 200, 253, 20, 30. So 330 in Mother's Day. Father's Day is also getting 10. So we have 100, 150, 170, 180, 190. I've got a funny story. $190 in Father's Day. So part of Chris's Father's Day gift was supposed to be well 4th of july is getting 20. i was thinking it would be fun for him to like have a fridge out in his shop 100 200 250 270 275 like a like a, just like a small fridge to keep like his drinks his adult drinks and then like some water bottles and stuff out there halloween is getting five dollars because he does spend a lot of time out there he has all his work stuff out there and um you know it's where we like fix things it's where we store every like all of the like machinery and whatever, 100, 150, 170, 180, 185. And so my dad was a huge handyman. He was always working on a vehicle or a lawnmower or fixing something out in his tool shed. And he had a little fridge like that. So it's kind of like nostalgic to me, but I was like, that would be nice for Chris to have something like that out in his shop. So 110. And Stephanie and I have been talking about getting a bigger fridge for my shop. Um, just because we like to keep food and snacks in there so that we don't go out to eat as much or like feel like we need to go into town and get food. And so I had ordered a bigger fridge from Sam's Club, 100, 200, 20, 10, 20, 25, 225 in Black Friday. So I had ordered like a fridge that was two or three times bigger than this. I mean, it's a teeny tiny fridge. You could maybe fit like 10 cans in there. It was not a very big fridge at all. $50 for Christmas. So now we have $1,100. And I was going to give Chris the other, the fridge that we have in there now, like this smaller one. And so that wasn't going to be his only gift, but it was just going to be part of it. Like, hey, you, you can have this fridge out there. 100, 120, 130, 35, 40. And so I was at the shop last week and he calls me and he's like, hey, seasons is getting skipped. He's like, I'm sure you have like a logical explanation or like a reason behind this, but is there any reason that we just got a huge pellet grill in the in the mail like delivered to our house and i was like no it's a fridge chris like that's what i ordered was a fridge he's like it says it's a pellet grill on the box and it's a picture of a huge pellet grill and i was like no i think they must have delivered like it to the wrong address and he's like looking on the box and it was supposed to go to kansas we're in minnesota so he's like, what do we do? Do we like take it back to the store? Do we just keep it? I'm like, well, morally, I feel like we need to like contact Sam's Club because this is obviously a mistake. Like we weren't supposed to get this grill. And so he called Sam's Club customer service and they're like, technically when this happens, like you don't, you're, you don't have to do anything. Like you can either return it or just keep it. 
and this grill is like 200 pounds and Chris was like so I either load it up and bring it to the store or just keep it and she's like yep technically like we can't really do anything about it like it was just a mistake so we have this grill now which we really don't like like need um but I think he's gonna give it to his mom because she's been wanting a smaller grill to be able to cook on so we're just gonna give it to her but it was just so funny but now I have to wait until that happened like May 1st or May 2nd and now I have to wait till May 16th to get this new fridge that we Steph and I want for the shop and I'm just like it's okay it's fine but such a bummer so I'm sure the guy in Kansas got my fridge and then we got his grill like they accidentally switched up the like mailing labels on the boxes <laughs> it was just so funny like I've never had that happen before so now we have this grill and and no fridge but it's fine it's just <sighs> one of those things it just the father's day thing made me think of it because i was the the fridge was going to be part of like his not really his gift but just like something new for him to have okay so we i need to get my marker but that reminds me so you guys know that we just launched the xl canvas zipper bags and i was talking about some straps that were going to be coming in the mail so they actually came and i'm going to show them to you guys they turn out so cute. So I'll give you guys a close up of each of them. And then I'll show you what they look like on the canvas zipper bag. So this one is so pretty. It's like a green. I don't even know if the lighting is doing this justice. It's so pretty. So it's adjustable and it's got the silver hardware to match the canvas tote bag. This is actually the one I put on the bag. So I'll show you that one in a second. And so I think I'm going to narrow it down to four different styles that people might like, or sorry, I got four samples, but, um, and I do actually have like, I think 40 of these total. So I will put them on the website, but the two that win like the poll for like, you know, which, which two should we keep in the shop? I think, I mean, maybe I'll do all four if you guys really like all four, but definitely comment your favorite below. So this is the second one. This one is similar to the other one, except it's like, it's more of a dark gray. The other one is green. This is more of a dark gray and it has white stitching on it. So what one is like green and tan. And then the other one is like a dark gray and white. So super pretty. I couldn't make up my mind, so I just got all of them. But this is, the, and then this is the other strap, the one that I just put on the bag. I like love this one. Let me see if I can't get this to focus. There. So this is the other one. I'll try to hold them all up at once. So you can see all of them next to each other. But so I adjusted the strap. So you can use this as like a shoulder bag, or I mean, you can also remove these and it's just like a regular bag. But I've had a lot of people ask like if you can fit like a Bible and like a notebook in there and the answer is yes. I don't know if you can fit like a full on like school notebook in there that I have not tried. But the dimensions are on the website. I don't remember them like offhand. I think it's like a 10 by 13 maybe. But yeah. Super cute. So I'll try to hold these all up side by side so you can see them. I'll put it in my YouTube community too, but tell me which one is your favorite. So those will be coming to the shop soon. I mean, I, like I said, I have a very limited amount of them. But that being said, I wanted to make sure I could show you guys that we are going to put our cash into our rollover savings challenge here. Let's see. So we are adding 10 ones into, I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to fit this in there. These clear zipper bags sold out during the launch. So I am, I do have more coming already. So those will get restocked soon. I wasn't sure how popular they would be. So to be completely honest, I didn't order like a lot, lot of them. I was honestly surprised that they sold out. There was a few orders where people ordered like several of them, like 10 sets of them. So that's part of the reason they sold out, but 
we're getting a bunch more in. So those will get restocked soon. I think the A5s might still be in, in stock. I can't remember. So we added one five to this and then we have a 10 and a $20 savings challenge as well. All right, next we are going to do, let's see, we're in May, our 10K savings challenge here. And we are stuffing $220. All right, and then we're gonna wrap it up with the 5K savings challenge. And then I do have a letter to open that I got in the mail. So make sure you stick around. Um, I feel like I'm short of 100. Oh, I wonder. Oh, okay, so we're doing the first week of March. So I'm not, since we're stuffing four weeks, four more weeks in May, I'm saving these. And we are only stuffing this one. So that's why I have 75 left. That makes a lot more sense. So we're gonna have 75 in there and then we'll mark this off here. Right, and that is it for the 5K. And then we are gonna get these envelopes put into the wallet. And then before we leave in a little bit, I'm gonna just decide what other envelopes I need. I need to decide exactly what stores we're going to. I think we might go to Home Goods. We need um, new cushions for a couple of our patio chairs, and they usually have a pretty good selection. So we might stop there, which means technically I could take any envelope with me because. <laughs> I definitely like to shop around there. So, okay, I got this letter in my P.O. box. It is from Stephanie, and so we're just gonna open it. I have no idea what it is. Oh, this is really cute. It says, you are appreciated. Emily, I am in love with my wallet envelope bundle. I really wanted to write you and say you are making a difference. When I see you post about your bad days or people being critical or toxic towards you. I really just want to shout through the screens and say, don't listen to them. Your hard work and dedication is making a difference for the majority of us who are watching and supporting you. I can tell you are kind, thoughtful, and considerate through your videos. By the way, you did personally help me save enough money to leave a job, get a three-month reset, and time to heal from recent challenges, life challenges. My family lost our 32-year-old nephew, oh my God, and later the loss of our uncle. I'm so sorry, Stephanie. At the same time, I was in a job that was affecting my mental, mental health, and because of you, I was able to get time off, heal, and be with family. Now I have a new job that I love and continue to watch your in inspiring videos. Thank you so much, Stephanie. Stephanie, thank you so much for sending this. This truly means so much to me. I love interacting with you guys in comments and dms and just through instagram and youtube but to hear from you personally it just means more to me than you will ever know so thank you so much for taking the time to send me this card and i just feel so incredibly blessed to be a blessing to you and i love this community and that we can continue to build each other up and encourage each other and that's why i started this channel in the first place so thank you so much stephanie for sending that and just being willing to share your story i think that's about it for this video you guys we have stuffed everything we need to cash stuff it went incredibly smoothly which i'm so grateful for thank you guys so much for choosing to hang out with me today i hope my video blessed you in some way and i cannot wait to see you in my next one have a great week you guys